file that is on a CD with a book and making a QR code so your students can scan the QR code and listen to the audio file without needing a CD player. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna place the CD into your computer and then you're gonna open up Windows Media Player. It should be found over here on the left. Sometimes it has the name of the book. Sometimes it has a totally random name of an album I found. I don't know if it's because of the way it automatically tries to receive the name, but for this one, it's obviously called Unknown Album. Um, you're going to select the tracks that you want to make digital. What I have found is track one is normally the book read with the page beeps. Track two is usually the book read without the page beeps. And then three is usually the comprehension questions. So I usually only do the one with beeps and then I do the comprehension questions. You're going to want to go to RIP settings. You only have to do this the first time. You're going to go to more options and you want to choose where the file is going to go. So what I did is I created a file in my Google Drive. So I have mine go to my Google Drive. So it shows right here where they're going to go. And then you're going to go ahead and select the ones you want and just hit rip CD. Um, I already have done that just for time purposes, but it only takes like a minute at the most. Um, the QR code creator I use is app.qr-code-generator.com. Um, you do have to create an account, but it is free. Uh, I can't remember how many you get for free, but for the most part, it's free, especially if you just want to do your own classroom library. So I'm going to go down to MP3, and I'm going to choose this button down here, which would be the next button. So it's going to say drag and drop your M MP3. So I have to go in and I have to find... Now here's another thing I'll do before I do this is I'll usually go in my Google Drive and I find the file and I rename it based on the author because again, you'll have a bunch of unknown files and then that makes it kind of confusing. So I'm just going to go ahead and pick one of these. So what I would do would be then I would open and then you can pick whatever you want it to look like when it comes up. I usually just pick a different one every time. I usually do the logo as the book cover. So I double click on my book cover that I've saved in the file also. And then I go to confirm. Um, I'll change this basic info to the title of the book. If it is the story, I usually put story. And then if it's questions, I put questions. If it doesn't have questions, I usually just do it like this just for the sake of time. Um, and then that's all you have to do. And then you hit next. And then this is going to come up. Again, you can change um, the way it looks. You can change what it has at the bottom. For the ones that have questions and story, I'll usually type story in here. And if you type in story, it'll say story at the bottom. You are limited, though, to the number of characters. So at first I thought I could put the book titles down here because it would be easier for printing, but I cannot do that because most of them didn't fit. Um, you can choose your color. And then what I usually do before I download is I'll X this out and I save this as the file name as well. Again, that is for the sake of organization purposes when I go to print these. So now I go to download going to show this up again. Um, there's other stuff you can change, obviously, but download. It's going to pop up right over here. And then what I do is I save it in that same folder with the file. Again, this is all just for sake of, I've already got it in here, but for sake of organization purposes for me. So then I just go ahead and save it. And that is it. Then you go ahead and you print it. And what I do is I place it in the inside cover of the book. Your students will scan the code and it will read it to them just like it would if you had a CD player. Hope this helps some of you out. Um, you can always get a hold of me if you have questions.